Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Organize With Me video. This one's probably going to be really quick because it's my like foundation and like other random stuff drawer and I don't like collect foundations and like primers and stuff like I do with eyeshadow palettes and lip products and things so I don't have a lot of those so I think it's gonna be pretty quick so I bought another one of these um, Danielle Creations cosmetic organizer because this is just the perfect size for my drawers I'm using the I think it's called the Mika um, set from Ikea. It's not the Alex drawers that everyone has. It's like the more like desk version um, I'll put it down below what the full name actually is So these are like long and like pretty narrow so they fit perfectly in the drawer and there's still like a bit of space left on the side if anything doesn't fit so let me just open this and by the way, I get these at Winners, so if you're in the States, it's TJ Maxx, the same thing. Um, so where do I begin? This drawer was already kind of organized because I had everything in like these random boxes, but I don't really like how that looks. I prefer like everything to be in the clear acrylic organizer because I feel like I can see everything better and it just looks neater. So in this little... Um, tin thing. I had this thing. Is this CoverGirl? Doesn't even say. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter. Um, it's like a cream highlighter. This is shade 3. It looks pretty dark, but I do really like using this in the summer like when I have a bit more of a tan and sometimes I bring this when I travel because it just gives like a really nice glow and it's really easy to use you just like tap with your finger so I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep this of course um I guess I'll just put it here for now then I had this elf um it's a makeup remover pen so like if you do like if you like me and you're really bad at wing liner you can clean it up with this pen yeah it's really convenient to have so definitely keeping this I'll put it in the same little square for now um, this is a first aid beauty ultra repair cream safe for sensitive skin um, this I was using like on like any dry patches on my hands or on my elbows and it's I think it works pretty well actually and then I was like hey maybe I should use this on my face because I have really dry skin but it was breaking me out so I put it back in this drawer to use on my body so I'm gonna keep this here as well this is one of my favorite complexion products and unfortunately I think it's been discontinued. It's the Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream that I mentioned in plenty of videos. It has SPF 20, I'm pretty sure, and it's 100% natural origin all-in-one beauty balm cream in the shade Light. But yeah, I don't think you can get this anymore, so that's sad. This is almost empty, I think. So I'm going to use it up. Um, but yeah, I guess I have to find another BB cream because I think I prefer BB cream to foundation, to be honest. So I'll keep this here. This is another one of my favorite travel products. It's the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30, but it has a tint. So, um, I use this pretty much like I would use foundation even though the tint is really sheer like it's not going to cover much but it does give like a nice bronzy glow so I really like this product um, so yeah I'm definitely going to keep this in here as well and I use this all year round not just like when I travel or in the summer because you should always be wearing SPF 
note to self i don't <laughs> wear it enough but there's uv rays all year so that's a good product to have and then i have these sponges which i haven't used yet um they look like erasers if you can see so i guess you can use them dry or wet i can't remember because i don't have the packaging anymore but they're like for cleaning up like you can use this angled side like to um for your jawline like to bake and like obviously this pointy side for concealer or cleaning up under the eye so i like to keep these around just in case i should put them with the eyeliner pen because they're like more like tools than they are makeup Um, so now, oh, first, this is something I'm actually going to declutter. I was thinking about it the other day, how, like, I never use this, and I don't really need to. Um, it's a color correcting palette, and the only shade that I ever used, really, is this green shade. You can probably tell. It's the only one that has, like, a dip in it. Um, and I was using it to like cover redness, but I find like as long as I use a good spot concealer, I don't need a color corrector. So I think this would be good for someone who like maybe you have dark circles or some kind of like sunspots or other discoloration that you want to cover and your foundation is like not doing the trick, then maybe this would be good. But for me, I just don't feel the need. For it um but it was the l'oreal infallible total cover palette i like the formula i think and there's like instructions on the back but i don't need this anymore so um yeah i guess we'll get into the foundations now so this is my flower beauty light illusion luminous makeup all day wear broad spectrum spf 18 in the shade porcelain l1 i don't use this often and i think that when i do use it it creases in my fine lines because it's very dewy um but i do want to try it out some more and see if it really was this or if it was like the primer i was using with it so i'm definitely keeping this and i want to use that in a drugstore video as well this one, I have to shake it up. This is the MAC Next to Nothing Face Color, which is literally next to nothing. Like, I don't even know what this is supposed to do because there's barely any tint or coverage. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna try this out like one more time and if I don't see a purpose for it I will pass it on to someone else yeah and I have this shade light plus this you've seen a million times because it's like the only foundation I use it's the makeup forever water blend I have the shade r210 looks like this it's actually like halfway done I think but yeah I really like this so I'm obviously keeping it. Um, and then I think the only other foundation I have, yes, is this one. This is the VDL Perfect Lasting Foundation. Um, I got this from Influencer. They sent me a huge box of all of these VDL products and I was like, wow, really? You want me to have this? <laughs> um, but I really liked this. I actually haven't used it since I did the video though, which I can link below. But I remember really liking it. It's just that I'm not someone who like feels the need to try different foundations all the time. Like if I find one that's good, I just use it until it's done and then I move on. So I was keeping it in the box more like a backup. But I guess uh, 
yeah i should get some more use out of it i guess i don't need this box anymore it just says a lightweight liquid foundation with a natural matte finish and buildable medium to full coverage yeah so since i already did the video i don't I, i'll get rid of the box because it's taking up too much space that will go here and i they also sent me the luma layer primer fresh they sent me two primers. I think I gave the other one to my mom. Um, so this is the primer. It has like a luminous finish, if I remember correctly. It just says apply proper amount evenly on the skin before base makeup. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep this. Oh good, it fits here. <gasps> that looks satisfying. See? <laughs> and then I have these other products which I don't think should be in here well maybe this one this is the temp2 and boxycharm liquid glow so I guess they collabed on this product temp2 I think is a brand for like um, the products you put in a airbrush sprayer you know like for professional makeup but this you could basically just use as a liquid highlighter. I was keeping it in this drawer because I thought I could mix it with some foundations to make them more glowy. So uh, I guess I'll try that. But I don't really need this because I do have the Physician's Formula Spotlight Primer which is kind of the same thing. So. I'll try this once and if I don't feel like it's that special, I can pass it on. And I have another primer here, the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So this is more like a silicone-y primer, so to like smooth and fill your pores. I actually use quite a bit of it, if you can see. The only thing that concerns me is this looks like it changed color. So, I don't know if it's still good. <laughs> I don't think there's an expiration date anywhere. Oh, well, it says um, once you open it, it's good for 12 months. I probably had this for more than 12 months. Yeah, I definitely did because I bought this in Toronto. I mean, I guess I can use it again and see if it's too weird or the texture changed, I'll get rid of it. And I have another Ordinary product. This one I haven't used at all. It's the 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. This is more a skincare product, which I think I'm going to put in my skincare bag because it doesn't need to be in this drawer. And I actually really want to try this because I heard good things about rose hip oil. And it says daily support formula for all skin types. Apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime, after application of water-based treatments. Yeah, definitely this should be in my skincare drawer. In that drawer, I also had this Ciate London makeup bag that I got with the Chloe Morello collab. It's a really nice bag actually, but it can go like with my other makeup bags. And then I had... Um, two other products that I got in boxy charms that I just didn't have anywhere else to put. This is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks Convertible Brow. It says, uh, for brown hair, I guess. The shade is 02. It's a wet or dry convertible powder and pomade duo. I actually did not know that. I thought it was just powder. Um, I actually just broke this <laughs> when I was taking it out. Um, the mirror broke, so I guess, yeah, seven years of bad luck, unfortunately. But these are the shades. I actually have used this before, and I remember liking it. I just don't tend to reach for brow powders. I just use, like, fiber gels. But, yeah, I do think I should use this some more. Um, and the, sh the shades do work for me, so yeah. And I did not know I could wet it, so I should try that. So this can stay in here. Um, yeah. yeah. 
And this is something I keep meaning to use, but I forget that I have it. And also it was under this brow thing in the drawer. So I kept forgetting about it, but it's the Bare Minerals um, Translucent Powder Duo. So there's a matte side and a glow side. This is the matte side and this is the glow side. It's like a marbled effect. People rave about this on YouTube, like people that probably got this also in a boxy charm because I don't know if they sell this in the store. Um, and it feels like super smooth and nice. Yeah, I think I should get more use out of this. The thing is, it doesn't fit in here anymore. Yeah, this will go on back in the drawer, but on the side, it doesn't fit in my container. And then I had this bag, which is just like um, backup eyelashes that I have and eyelash curlers, a mini one and a regular one. They're both Shoe Amora. Um, I never use eyelash curlers, they scare me. <laughs> so this can go somewhere else because I don't need it. And then I had this little box, which can stay like this because it's pretty organized. I was keeping, like, whenever I buy a palette and it has, like, um, instructions in it, like, of what kind of looks to do, I was keeping them in here. This one was from the Tutti Fruity Razzle Dazzle Berry palette. So, like, it gives you, like, instructions. I really like these because I like to try and recreate them and see if I can do it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep those. So that's just what I have in here. And I have these little jewels that I thought I would use like for some kind of fun eye look one day, but I never do because I'm not creative enough. <laughs> and these are for Z palettes, magnets that you can put on single shadows so you can keep them in a Z palette. And this is um, just a box I was keeping because I liked it. It's from when I bought my MAC Proud to be Canadian lipstick. So it had like a limited edition packaging. Yeah, I'm keeping that in here. So, oh, and then in this bag is just like um, these things, nail clippers and um, sharpener. You know, like extras. So, yes. That's that. So, this is what it looks like. I actually have all this space here still. But, yeah, I think this looks way better. And I can see everything. So, successful, I would say. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!